it's Liz, Mama Too Crazy 5, and today I'm going to show you guys how I apply my tips, my full coverage tips using Builder Gel instead of nail glue. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my Mandrel built bit, um, my Mandrel, Mandrel drill bit with the sanding band or the arbor band, and I'm actually going to etch the inside of my full coverage tip. So, whenever you're etching your tip, you just want to focus on the area in which the tip itself is going to meet your natural nail bed. As you see, I'm going in at different angles. I'm getting it nice and etched up on the inside of the tip because this is what is the builder gel is going to grab onto and what's going to keep the tip from popping off like a dual form. So, I like to do this um, to use the this method for my tips because the half coverage tips were, just weren't working for me. So as you can see, I just etched the area in which it's going to be coming into contact with my index fingernail. And I'm going to dust it off and get all the debris off of that. So you can clearly see the cloudy area is where the tip is etched. This is where we're going to apply our build, builder gel. I can't say that damn word. Builder gel here in just a minute. Um, but as you can see, I didn't etch the entire tip. There's no reason to. That's just too much work. It's unnecessary. So I'm going to clean off my finger really well, and then I'm going to go in with my alcohol prep pad, and I'm going to cleanse my nail. Um, I'm going to remove all the debris, um, any natural oils that are on the nail, just to kind of help with the adherence of the builder gel, in addition to the other products that I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to go in with my dehydrator. It's an acidless primer from Sally Beauty. Um, it does dehydrate. I know it says primer, but it does dehydrate the nail bed. Um, as you'll see here in just a second, whenever I apply it, it starts to dehydrate it relatively quickly. So there that goes. Sorry. All right. Now, as that dries, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my primer. This is my Mia Secret Extra Bond. I get this at my nail supply store, my local nail supply store. Um, and this you want to really focus on just the nail bed. You want to avoid getting this on your skin just because over time excess use and contact with your skin can develop allergies. Allergies, And so that's just, it's we don't like that. We're not going to do that. We don't play that game. Homie, don't play that. So um, here in just a second, I'm going to go in and actually wipe around my nail bed to make sure that there's no extra bond left on my skin just for that reason. Now after I do that, I am going to go in with my Model 1's gel base coat. Builder Gel does need a sticky tacky base coat to adhere to. So just like it needs the rough surface on the inside of the tip to stick to the tip, it also needs a tacky surface from the gel base to stick to your finger. If you don't have a gel base, it's not going to stick. It will peel right off. So just make sure you're always using gel base and then curing for 30 seconds before you're trying to do anything with builder gel or you're basically chasing your own towel. So I applied a thin layer. You always want to do super thin layers to avoid any heat spikes or uh, potentially burning yourself whenever you're curing. So I did a thin layer and I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. And boom. So now I'm going to take my nail tip and I'm going to go in with my IMLE Builder Base. This, all this, this stuff I get on Amazon. My tips, my um, gel base, and my Builder Gel, I get on Amazon. So we're just going to apply a very thin layer of the Builder Gel to the nail tip just where we etched it, just where it is going to come into contact with your natural nail bed. You don't want to do too much because then you have to deal with seepage around your cuticle line and your sidewalls and also at the tip of your natural finger as well. Um, you know, you want to avoid getting gel products on your skin if at all possible. So you just want to do a super thin layer and what this does is it's going to act like a filler. So a lot of people have issues with full coverage tips because whenever they use nail glue, oftentimes depending upon the shape of their nail bed, there is going to be a void space between the full coverage tip and their nail bed. Builder gel acts as a filler. It's an adherer adherer it adheres the, the nail tip 
to your nail bed and it also acts as a filler to fill that void to help avoid any moisture getting in, any lifting of the tip, help to avoid any of that crud that just makes everything a waste of time. So as you see, I'm holding it with my middle finger and my thumb. I'm holding it in place while I go into the light. Now I only did a flask cure just for a few seconds. Now I'm gonna go in with my alcohol prep pad and I'm gonna wipe around the perimeter of the nail just to make sure there's no seepage and no builder gel that you know seeped out and got onto my skin before I finish curing because if you completely cure and have that on your skin, then it's just kind of gonna be a pain in the ass and you could hurt yourself. So now I finished a full 60 second cure of the builder gel tip and that is now on there. Now I'm gonna go in with my nail clippers and I'm going to clip the nail to the length, my preferred length, and then I'm gonna go in and file the tip. So these are coffin shaped tips. Again, I get them on, on Amazon. So they already have a bit of a shape, um, but I'm just gonna go in and kind of refine it. I'm gonna tighten it up and I'm going to exaggerate the shape a little bit. Whenever you're working with tips, you do want to make sure that you exaggerate your shape because when applying um, dip products, they will add width to your nails. So you want to exaggerate your shape just a little bit so that whenever you, after you dip, you file and buff and do that whole process, you'll end up with the result that you want, not with a wider version of it. A lot of people have asked me to walk them through the process that I use for applying my nail tips. This is what I do start to finish with every single nail. It works great for me. Um, I'm a triple ambassador. I'm an ambassador for three different companies. So I am constantly doing manicures pretty much on the daily and I love it. And so what I do is I do this process and then I go right in with my peel off base coat from UNT. I put one layer of that, let it dry completely. And then I move on with my dip process as normal. So I'm able to pop them off super easily. On a rare occasion, a tip might break off with it just because these are super, super thin tips. Um, but if that happens, then I'm able to gently pull off the rest of the tip or I just go in with my toothy um, drill bit and I drill off the remainder of what's left. So this is it, you guys. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much. Um, I do appreciate it. I hope this helps in any way, shape or form forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.